What's up guys, I'm Remote Night Owl, and thanks for dropping by. Today we're going to be doing some theory crafting with Irelia, and as you can see from the title and the description, we're going to be rushing Trinity Force and building four Sterex gauges. Now hopefully Q time won't take too long. Now hopefully Q time won't take too long, because this is a normals after all. But God forbid I pick support, because that'll speed the Q up. Oh, and look at this, we found a game. Let's hope nobody dodges. Stop, stop, stop. Well, last pick, but let's hope Irelia doesn't get banned. <laughs> they banned Garen, of all champs. Alright, let's hope I get Irelia from this game. God forbid. Hope no one dodges either. Alright, no dodges so far. Alright, looks like the top lane's been picked. So... Yes! Alright, we got Irelia. My got blade that is at your service. So hopefully... Hopefully, we won't dodge in the next 18 seconds. 3, 2, 1, and... No dodge. Perfect. Alright, so far so good. So anyway... Uh, just to explain what theory crafting is real quick, uh, the Koreans do it a lot. Um, Phi LOL, who's on C9, if you don't know who he is, I would check him out, um, talks about this a lot, especially in his videos. Um, basically what it means is, is you take an idea and you test it out. So the armor pen build that came out of, uh, uh, that came out of Korea, you know, Ghost Blade, Black Cleaver, um, Dusk Blade, Bloodthirster, etc. Um, versus a crit build, that was all because of uh, the Korean meta where they theory crafted or they had this idea and they experimented with um, with these items and it ended up working and creating a new meta for the past couple months. So I'm not trying to create a new meta here, but what we're doing is is we're taking this idea of, uh, of base damage and stacking damage into a sheen proc and seeing how that works. So it looks like our matchup top lane is going to be Hecarim instead of Volibear, which is good for us. Uh, he doesn't have that passive heal when he drops below 30% health or whatever it is. So we'll have a better, uh, better chance of killing him early, which is good. Say hi to YouTube, guys. Let's see how many people say hi. Come on. There's two. There's two. Come on, three more. Three more. Uh, there's three. Four. Well, that's all fun and good. Nothing like getting good early gold lead. And then that happens. Like I said, we try this stuff in normals. For reasons like this. So show you guys what I'm talking about. We're actually buying the item that's key to this. So it is Sheen, and then this Sheen builds into a Triforce, obviously. But the spell blade passive goes into Triforce, and the passive doubles from 100% base damage to 200% base damage. And so the idea is is that you stack damage into your base damage rather than your bonus damage. And that's going to make your sheen be get really bursty. They 
Alright, let's try and go for something here. There we go. Alright, so, the point of base damage is, if you look here, on our attack damage, we have a blue number and a green number. The blue number is our base damage, and the green number is all of our bonus damage that we get from runes, masteries, and items. The only item in the game that stacks base damage is a Sterix Gauge. So, the idea of what we're going for is that we're going to put all sorts of damage behind our sheen because it reads after using an ability that the next basic attack deals 78 bonus physical damage. Now that's 78 on the tooltip says 100% base attack damage on hit with a 1.5 second cooldown and then on the trinity force it's t it's increased to 200%. So we're going to Basically, what we're going to do is, is because this blue number is the base attack damage, we're going to stack attack damage into there. And the reason we can do that is because the extra damage that is on the... Get out of minion sight here. The extra damage that comes from the sheen proc is based off of the blue number and not the green number, i.e raising your base attack damage. And, what's even funnier, is that's not even a unique passive, which is why it works. Or, war possibly works as we're about to see. Oh, thanks, Graves. Hey! Oh shit. Run, I got you, I got you. Ah! No good there. Wasn't expecting Graves to uh, necessarily die there, but Ziggs got caught. Or Ziggs caught him, unfortunately. So watch this. This is what I'm talking about with the Sheen proc, okay? So we activate an ability. It does that. The red glowy thing is there. And then it deals bonus damage, so there's 177 on that basic attack. And then 91 on that basic attack. So that's what a Sheen, that's just what a Sheen proc looks like. I mean, I know that's just really basic, simple stuff, but it's just an example so you can see what we're talking about. So while we're walking back to lane, I'll let you guys read the tooltip on Sterix. So it's 400 health, 25% base attack damage, so, and it does the math for you already, so how much it'll increase um, whatever your current base attack damage is. And then, you know, the, pass, the unique passive which doesn't stack with itself, which is why this isn't a good idea to do in ranked. Upon taking 400 to 1800 damage based on level within 5 seconds, so like heavy burst damage, you're going to get a shield and it also increases your size that decays over a cer certain amount of seconds, or whatever, but uh, it's a good tank item to build on, our re on Irelia regardless of uh, how many you build on her. But again, I advise that you only build one in a ranked game, but we're testing this out to see how it goes with stacking, like I said, the base attack damage, since that is a unique damage factor to, uh, to the game. So we have our Trinity Force, which means we get a full power spike. So now, our Sheen procs are going to be doing a flat 200% of our base damage. Our current base damage is 91. So the bonus damage there is 181, obviously. So 200%, obviously, meaning 91 times 2 in this case. So, But yeah, the 35 bonus attack damage that we see there is uh, 10 attack damage from the Longsword. 25 from the Trinity Force. 
And while I'm explaining, shout out to GBay99 for being able to talk and record at the same time. Because I am not paying attention at all. Oh, come on. Of course, I lag out right there. Come on, Hecky Babe. Oh, come on. You want to come? You want to come through the You want to come through the river? You, you don't, you don't want to die? Oh, yeah, we're not getting out of this. That was my fault. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that was so clutch. All right, let's go help our team out. Oh, I'm going to one-shot these guys. Good job, Graves. Oh, those bombs! Oh my gosh, they do so much damage. Alright, so we're about to get our sterics, so... This is what increasing base damage looked like. That 98, and that 195 bonus damage... ...is now going to be increased... ...to 122 bonus... 122 base damage. Which means this is going to be doing 244 bonus damage per sheen proc. So, again, we just keep stacking these. This sheen damage is going to keep getting bigger, and this base damage is going to keep getting bigger as well as our health. So we're definitely going to be getting tankier health-wise, and we're going to be doing a lot more damage on um, both two towers and to our enemies. Problem is, it makes us a little bit squishier, because even though we can tank with our health, um, the lifeline passive, or whatever passive this is, uh, the, yeah, the lifeline passive only procs once because it's a unique passive. And the cool thing about this too is that um, your Q Irelia's Q, and part of the reason I picked her was because how many sheen procs she can get off of her um, abilities activating. Is that her Q can one-shot like minions like by itself because of how much damage it'll eventually get on it, and the fact that it applies all on hit effects. Got his ultimate. Ah! Damn it! Let's pull the dyrus and cheese the bush. Make him think about back. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Oh, you... Oh, he got the scrying orb. Alright, alright. Two can play at that game. Oh, hey, Volley Bear. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. Whoa! Oh, he couldn't live through it. But yeah, just one Sterix, as you saw right there, gives us so much damage. Alright, so, now we only get the... Um, we only get the 25% increase in our base attack damage once we get the item fully built. Because this just stacks bonus attack damage health, and then the longsword is just 10 bonus attack damage. So right here we see the stat, 25%. You know. 
You get you, you're getting the idea already. Oh shit. That's how we do it, I really am curious your style. Oh, I can't believe I canceled my auto attack. That's a bait. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Come on, Jinx. Yes. See? All scene procs. Didn't even have to use my own. And, but I'm starting to lag again. Alright, so another Sterix. So, 176 base attack damage, 353 bonus physical damage on the Sheen. This gets increased to... 2... 106 base damage, which means the burst damage is 3... 412! On the burst, holy cow. Seriously, you gotta be kidding me. That takes a lot out of towers. She's not gonna be able to hurt me. But he will! Okay, I missed that. Yeah, see, there's nothing I can do there. Ziggs, or yeah, Bully Bear still has that. So like I said, this is something we're experimenting with, and seeing how it stacks up. But again, don't try this in rank. Yeah, see, there's nothing you can do there. Again, the point is... The point is, is that you do get tanky, but you have no stats. I mean, 128 armor, 80 magic resist, but... Well, this was fun while it lasted. But... Didn't do much. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Didn't win this one, unfortunately. But, was a normals game. We were theory crafting, we were experimenting. Anyway... We're going to see each other again real soon, guys, but until then, have a great day.